ELISA, the European Engineering, Learning, Innovation and Science Alliance, is the alliance of nine prestigious universities from seven European countries, with the goal to define and implement a common model of European engineer that would respond to social challenges and combine smart technologies with the need for sustainable development. The Alliance is a strong promoter of democracy, diversity, inclusion and last, but definitely not least, gender equality. The very acronym for the Alliance, ELISA, is meant as a tribute and moral reparation to all women engineers in fond remembrance of ELISA Leonida Zamferescu as the epitome of the essential elements driving the Alliance, since ELISA had a multicultural cross-border scientific background made a significant contribution to engineering with her innovative methods for mineral analysis and proved her strong determination and social commitment. Being a trailblazer is often a lot harder for a woman than it is for a man, especially in an era dominated by prejudice, like back in the days of Elisa Leonida Zamferescu, the Romanian who was to become the first female engineer in the history of Europe. Hers is a success story turned into a solid reason for national pride, a narrative to inspire whole generations of young people. Elisa Leonida Zamferescu was the first female engineer in Europe, but also the first woman who was denied access to the academic technical education in Romania, precisely because she was a woman. Back in an era dominated by bias, she chose to build a career in engineering, a field that was exclusively reserved to men. Her decision triggered animosity, but that only strengthened her determination to work hard and pursue her goal. More than anything else, the story of Elisa Leonida Zamfirescu is the story of a woman who had to fight against the prejudice of her contemporaries. But it is also a success story because at the end of the day, she made her dream come true. Elisa Leonida was born on the 10th of November in 1887 in Galatz, a beautiful Romanian town on the bank of the Danube River. She attended elementary school in her native town, then high school at the Central School for Girls in Bucharest. She also took her final exams in the capital city with the prestigious Mihai Vitezul Science High School. One of her uncles was an engineer, and one of her brothers was the famous Dimitri Leonida, founder of the Romanian School of Energy Engineering. But Elisa was determined to prove that women could be successful in the technical field as well. She applied to the former School of Bridges and Roads, later turned into the Polytechnic School of Bucharest, only to be faced with a blunt rejection. Such things were non-negotiable back then, when women could not pursue a career in engineering. It took a lot of effort, but she eventually managed to become a student of the Royal Technical Academy in Berlin. The dean of the academy was very reluctant to approve Elisa's application, her main argument being that the fundamental vocation of a woman was the three Ks. The kids, the kitchen and the church. Elisa's life did not become easier once she was accepted by the academy, because at first both her fellow students and her professors were ignoring her in class. However, with her unrelenting determination and patience, she managed to turn the hostility into unanimous admiration during those university years. In 1912, she successfully graduated with a major in chemistry, thus becoming the first female engineer in the world. After graduation, the famous BASF company offered her a job as an engineer, but she declined and chose to return to Romania instead. It wasn't easy, but she eventually got a job as an engineer with the Geological Institute in Bucharest. Amidst the First World War, Elisa Leonarda joined the Red Cross and ran several campaign hospitals, an effort for which she was highly decorated. In 1918, she eventually got married on the front line. Her husband was Constantin Zamferescu, the brother of the well-known Romanian writer Duliliu Zamferescu, during her career with the Geological Institute, Elisa led 12 laboratories and had a significant contribution to the discovery of new resources of coal, oil, natural gas, construction rocks, chromium, bauxite and copper in Romania. 
Next to her work as an engineer, Elisa Leonardo Zamfarescu also found time to teach physics and chemistry at the Pita Mosh School for Girls, and also at the School of Electricians and Mechanics, headed by her own brother, Dimitri Leonida. She worked until the age of 75, when she retired in May 1963. Her success story remains a scientific legacy carried on to this day under the auspices of ELISA, selected by the European Commission to be part of the European University Network. This is an iconic financing and acknowledgement programme with a mission to create the fundamentals of a cooperation and sustainability-driven Europe.